Hello everybody, my name is Beatrice Gonzalez. I'm sorry I couldn't be here today to talk with you in person about our program. Um, I am a biology professor here at Santa Fe and I'm also the director of the Santa Fe portion of the Santa Fe to UF Bridge Program. Um, the Bridge Program is one of about 40, our Bridge Program is uh, one of about 40 Bridge Programs in the United States. Um, is sponsored by the National Institute of Health and is a partnership between four and two years institutions. That's what all Bridges programs are like. Um, the overarching goal is to make sure that our community colleges, college students uh, from diverse backgrounds end up studying biomedical and behavioral sciences um, at uh, four-year institutions and, and earn their bachelor's degrees. So for us, our short-term goal, of course, is to boost the pool of students who can transfer from Santa Fe to UF um, and then complete their biology, their, sorry, their BS or BA degree. Um, the long-term goal um, is actually to increase the number of community college students that from underrepresented groups that end up in research careers. And that is also to re remedy um, health disparities and you know, representation gaps that we see um, as we try to improve the health of the country. Um, so uh, this partnership between Santa Fe and the University of Florida uh, works this way. UF is the main institution, we are the subcontractors. There's an overall director, that would be Dr. David Julian at UF, and here at Santa Fe, it would be me. Um, overall, we our award is $1.4 million for five-year period. Amazing, I know. Um, for Santa Fe College, our first year, we receive $155,000. Um, by the end of the fifth year, it would be about $430,000. Um, these funds are going to be used, or and have already been used, um, to purchase laboratory equipment for our teaching labs, um, also as stipends for professional development for our academic advisors, our full-time faculty, and also um, our part-time faculty, like our adjunct uh, instructors. In addition, we have created a chemistry biology tutoring center, and we staff it with tutors, and the grant pays for that. Um, which majors um, are benefited by this program um, are the ones shown here. In general, are those that are going to be for the biomedical sciences, so you can imagine biology, um, chemistry, uh, nutrition, f um, health science professions, microbiology. Um, and then in the behavioral and social sciences, it will be mostly anthropology, psychology, and sociology. So th that's, those are the, the bulk of the programs. Um, now, how, when we were writing the grants, we were thinking, how are we going to achieve this? We use the other bridges programs that are available, that are um, already in, um, in action uh, throughout the US, and use them as a guide. What we knew is that, we kind of knew we needed to probably look at advising so our students would get, um, academic advising so our students would be better equipped to see how they're gonna navigate Santa Fe and then UF. Um, then also we need, we kind of thought academic support was probably going to be important. Other programs have addressed that too. And then the research experience is actually central to the Bridges program itself. All of them offer a summer research experience for their students. And then many offer the possibility of doing that as they go on into their upper division. So all the decisions, and when we wrote the the, um, the grant is data driven. Um, what we see is that in this year, this, 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 this data that we were looking at when we were writing the grant um, is that about, let me see, 3,200, 2,000, yeah, um, over 5,000 students from all the programs applied to UF. And of those 4,000, about um, 6,000 students or over 5,000 students, 30, about 37% were denied and about 63% were admitted. Well, that's, that's a decent number. But when we look at the biomedical and behavioral sciences uh, 
numbers, that wasn't that good, okay? So about half were admitted, about half were denied, okay? So we realized we needed to do something. And that tells you the admit rate was probably higher in many of the other, uh, any other field except the ones covered by our grant. Um, as you can see here, some like biology um, and psychology were very low. Um, the health professions the same. So we knew there was a, a lot of room for improvement. Now, what are the people at the UF um, informed us was that one of the main reasons for denying a student is the fact that they did not complete the prerequisites. Okay. Um, in addition, then we look at one sample course, the biology for majors, and we realize that here, again, about 40%, a little over 60% of our students were passing the class. Uh, and when we look at the grade distribution, uh, it doesn't, it looks kind of normal. It looks like it's not, you know, not super easy. This other should be not super bad. There's not that many Fs, so how come we have 40% not passing, well, if you look at this data where you can actually see the withdrawal rate is about 20% of all the students withdraw. So the 40% really, only about 20% do not pass the class, the other 20% don't finish it, they withdraw. Well, that told us that advising was gonna be critical, academic support was also gonna be really important, and that's where we focus. So in order to do that, we, um, We've had uh, workshops between Santa Fe and UF advisors, um, and we have uh, open lines of communication. For academic support, we established the, a tutoring center for chemistry and biology. Um, we also have funding now for our sciences labs, that finally to buy uh, equipment to bring them up to speed and, and, and modernize them. Um, we've had workshops for um, faculty, not only part-time, but also full-time, and then especially for the adjunct faculty so they can um, use some of this equipment. Um, and then the research experience, what we did, in, in not only they can, students can work in the labs at the summer, we have instituted a lecture series where the UF professors come and, and talk about the research and also about their trajectory. Um, so that is really great. And then we also have an entering research class. That's what you see there on the bottom, uh, our students in the class that they're taking, um, where we talk, uh, discuss what is to do research in a lab and, and things like that. So that's really pretty much what we've, how we're uh, addressing our grant. These are some of our Bridges scholars, two presented at a national meeting um, last November. And in general, um, it, is, it has been a wonderful experience to see how we can get them to UF and by doing that, kind of set a path for that others can follow. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, please send me an email and you can always also visit our website. And again, I'll be happy to entertain any comments or questions and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.